So let me tell you a little bit about what what started this. Me and Jack, me and Chef Jack, were looking at the uh, the, the 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 Eisner Awards, and then we noticed that stuff like uh, Squirrel Girls getting nominated for the Eisners. Actually, I believe what I said was, "Can you believe this shit?" Yeah, it's just like that. And I said, you know what? We should have a ra- – there is no Razzies for comic books, and I didn't actually know that, so I had to look it up and figured, hey, look, there is actually no Razzies for comic books. So, Well, there is now. Yeah. I figured, why don't we make one of our own? Why don't we do it as a live stream, get everybody together, get everybody to vote so it's the entire community. And uh, we have had over 100 people vote. Really, uh, really cool. The fact that they voted for the nominees, you voted for the winners. I have no pony in this particular race, so excited to see who won. And we just uh, spe- separated all the categories, so everybody else was excited to see who won as well. And we hope this translates into, of course, a decent show. Can one of you guys send the link to the video then to my Twitter so I can join the reindeer games? Yep, I am on it as we speak. Amazing that the host cannot see the YouTube video. <laughs> YouTube is a strange problem. bird. It hey, really is. I'm just glad I'm actually able to connect this time. Gee, ah, uh, yes. For those who have never heard, my brother and I on the same uh, at the same time. There you go. Now you know for a fact that we are not the same person. Oh my! And here I thought you were just a yeah. split personality. Yeah, chef, I guess this disproves all of those conspiracy theories that Anglantine was Chef Jack if he just put some cotton balls. Chef, uh, chef Jack, yeah, hey, chef Kurt Jack Busiek, if you're listening to this, we are two different distinct people. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you really just have two laptops and microphones set up, and you're just switching between There the you two. go. Yeah. I created the Chef Jack persona so I could use the word fuck while I'm doing my shows. That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> considering that we're uh, keeping this a PG-13, there's only one more left that we can use. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Balls. So nobody mentioned that certain story that Marvel just got done with over the last no, two on, years. On all honesty, though, we're going to be mentioning it a lot. So this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a, 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 a trial for me not to lose my head you know what though this is where we celebrate it yeah usually you mention the se word and i go off like the nostalgia critic when he hears back credit card but (laughs) we're looking at it we're going that is one of the worst books released this year so this is where Ecret Sempire actually becomes Tommy Wiseau's The Room. <laughs> yes. That's a freaking room, yes. <laughs> yeah. The only place it's okay to bring up. I'm not going to be triggered because the community came around and said, Hey, little Anglantine, it's okay. We know what shit, too. <laughs> really needed. I needed confirmation, I guess. And, th- and that's right here. Um, okay, so basically I've been uh, really just trying to kill time while technical stuff came about, and I apologize for people uh, uh, right. about the tardiness. I, I've shared the link around to just as many pieces of social media that I can, so maybe we might get – Yeah. hopefully we'll break, I don't know what, 30 whole people watching this video. Hey, we did. We've got 31. <laughs> awesome. See, the would you know. Woo-hoo. No, uh, the, <laughs> you guys, it drops really down. Cool. Yeah, that that's really cool. Okay, no, but actually, actually, I think it's funny because we'll be talking about like, oh my gosh, can you believe this comic book actually produced a live human being? And we'll be like, hey, and and we'll have some people watching, and then people are like, uh, you know, DNC's like reading another comic book, but he's using Don't big Latin, and then everybody goes, oh, sh- that. Okay, person. so who do we got? Who we got? <laughs> So, anywho, let's get this party started. Once again, gang, just like the Oscars, we have 17 categories, but just like the Razzies, we're celebrating the worst. You guys voted for it. You guys voted for the nominees. You guys voted for the loser winners. What would we call that? I don't know. The winners of the losers, I guess. The the, the 
the, the, wor- the best of the, the worst. The best of the worst. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would be the worst of the worst, wouldn't it? Yeah. The best of the worst would be no. would be the guys who lost these silly awards. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. And yeah, so anyway, um, we're going to take some uh, comments, but a lot of it's going to be, uh, of course, the show. So I want to talk about this first category, which is worst fan interaction, because something really amazing to me happened. Uh, I put out after the Mark Wade stuff, I put out (coughs) the uh, final, hey, it's coming to an end here, guys. You got to get your votes in. We're going to be doing this on Sunday. So is after Mark Wade made an ass of himself and people just jumped to vote. I mean, we got tons of votes on that last video and I really appreciate everybody thing. So here's the nominees. Dan Slot for the Slot Blocks. Mark Wade for, do we really need to say we got 70,000 videos out there about Mark Wade right now? <laughs> Kurt Busiek, which I know I butchered that name, but I don't care because he's on the worst list. For make mine milkshake and of course doxing and Tom Brevort for being in charge of all these people and not even fucking taking care of the daycare. So okay, effectively so. it's Tom Brevort for being Tom Brevort. And Tom Brevort for right. having the biggest head <laughs> and the smallest hat. Okay, so. <laughs> I find it I find it ironic that Tom Brevort called me I and I swear to God he called me a fedora wearing neckbeard. That's funny. So who did you oh, vote wow. for then, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chef Jack? Who did I vote for? Who did you vote for in this? I, yeah. I, uh, I honestly, I had to give it to Heather Antos. I mean, she took, no, okay, for, she took three tweets, literally three tweets that I have to say I was offended by and exploded it all over the internet like, yep, you know. Yep. I know. Make My Milkshake was a hell of a night. So the winner with 44 votes was Mr. Slot Block himself, Mr. Dan Slot. You know, I really wish slot. I would love to say I'm surprised about that, but, I mean. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Even after Mark Wade came out and just made a complete ass of himself and we got, like, 40 extra votes, they still went to Dan Slot. Not that understand. many. <laughs> it, it's a marathon, and Dan Slot has been bad on Twitter and social media in general for years. Yeah. For years. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. He played the, he yeah, played but, the long con. And then what was that, the bit where he said, he actually told a guy, I stole your identity to sh- teach you a lesson. You yes. know what the fucking hell? I, I honestly the that thought, though, I honestly thought, though, that, that Wade was going to pull out a last minute victory given his, his no, I'm not advocating violence. Uh, uh, I never but, said yeah. hurt the guy. I don't, I don't advocate yeah. violence, but if you see DNC, get them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the difference is, you know, Wade jumped on a scooter while Dan Slott was in a sports car. He, he was already outpacing him. <laughs> yeah. So in unranked, Chevron says that there were many good picks, but this one was de- well-deserved, and I agree with him. Yeah. Tevia Smolka, uh, oh, just a little personal note. Tevia Smolka, I did try to get a hold of you there and uh, would love to do a uh, live stream with you at some point in time there, guy. Hey, True Believers, it's Englantine here, and I'd like to thank you for watching part one of the 2017 Gabby Awards, something that I hope becomes an annual thing. So keep an eye out for part two and the rest as I'm trying to cut these down into bite-sized pieces, easy to digest. Leave a comment below on anything you might have heard in the broadcast here. And also, don't forget to hit like, share, 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 and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else. Also, if you don't mind, head on over to Patreon or to vidme.com. Drop a dollar in the till and help us uh, create more videos like this and the others that you see all over our station here, our channel. We definitely appreciate anything you could do. We thank everybody who's already done that, everybody who will do that, and to everyone, all the true believers, thank you very much for watching. We're great, and you suck. We're great, and you suck. We're great, and you suck. You see, there's us.